Hey, it's Yuka. We all know Notion is already a powerful app, but when you connect it with other tools, it can get even better. Today, I'm going to show you how I integrate Notion with my calendar, TickTick, and also this new app called Sync Tasks that I've been experimenting with recently. So what makes Notion amazing is that it can do everything. But the truth is it's not specialized for task management. So when you try to do everything inside Notion, it can get a little clunky. That said, it's perfect for project management. I've been using this system where I have a projects database and a task database that is connected via relations. And this system has been working for me for the past four-ish years. I've also tried other things like building a Pomodoro tracker right inside of Notion. And I went through a lot of trial and error over the years. But now I don't try to force everything into Notion and I use other apps alongside it with Notion at the core. And I think it's been more efficient for me. So first up, let's talk about TickTick. TickTick is a simple app focused on tasks and habit tracking, which is actually why I love it. That simplicity makes it easier to focus on what is most important at hand. It also has a built-in Pomodoro timer and I can track how much time I spent on each task. I can even visualize my Pomodoro sessions on a calendar, which is really satisfying to see. The source of truth for my video tasks is still in Notion, but when it's time to actually execute, I use TickTick to stay on track. So the best part is everything is synced in both directions. If I update a task in Notion, it shows up on TickTick. If I complete or edit something in TickTick, it reflects it back to Notion. This part might be too niche, but for my fellow workflow nerds, here are some quirks I ran into and how I solved it. So one thing that is not super great with this integration is that you can't sync relations from Notion to TickTick. So for me, I have a project, let's say like a video A that I have a few tasks that is related to it, right? Like if I'm creating a video, I have to write a script, I have to edit, I have to make a thumbnail. So that's always attached to a video task. For creating these repeating tasks, I use buttons inside of Notion. Every time I create a video project in Notion, I will just press a button. It will create my default tasks in Notion. But because the TickTick integration doesn't have any other properties than the date and the status and the name of the task. I have to add what project each task is about in the name itself. So for example, if I just have script, I don't know which video I'm trying to script for. So I have to add the name of the, the video in the task itself. So to do this, I was trying to do at mentions of the project name but that sync wasn't really working very consistently. So what I found out is that in the button feature, I think this is a new option to just write out the name of a different property as is. So it'll just write out the project name instead of mentioning it. So that's how I was able to batch create tasks. Even though the relations property will not show up in TickTick, I still know what the task is about. I hope this makes sense. The next part is about calendars. When it comes to calendars, there are two main ways I integrate with Notion. So first is with Notion Calendar, which is the official calendar app from Notion. If your Notion database has a data property, it can show up directly in Notion Calendar. It's super simple. In my case, the actual calendar that I use is Google Calendar, but I view and interact with my events through Notion Calendar. I've synced the project database with this method into Notion Calendar so I can see when I'm supposed to upload a video. The second method is via TickTick. This is actually like a two hop sync because we're syncing the tasks to TickTick and TickTick is creating a feed for Google Calendar. So they show up alongside other events. The difference between the two methods is that the first one that I mentioned actually is really simple, but the con is that it won't show up in other apps like Google Calendar if you're using like calendar.google.com. The second method where we create a Google Calendar feed from TickTick will work on other apps like Google Calendar or anything that you sync your Google Calendar to. So if you're using multiple calendar apps, the second method might be for you. 
And the latest tool I've been trying is an iOS app called Sync Tasks. It was created by a creator called Islo and he's a pretty well-known Notion template creator. And his app does one thing really well. And that is it displays your Notion tasks in a super clean, simple way on iOS. If you use their widgets, it will show your tasks right on your home screen and you can even check things off straight from the widget. If you change the wallpaper, you can even make the widget disappear and make a really simple home screen. Notion is powerful on its own, but when you combine it with the right tools, it really starts to feel personalized and right for you. If you have any other favorite Notion integrations or go-to apps, let me know in the comments below. If you like tech and creativity videos like this, make sure you're subscribed and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.